Hello all and welcome to the second video of the series on dark table. Today's topic is light table, which is the screen in dark table that you use to manage your photos, give them ratings, colors, export them, delete them, import them. In the default view of uh, light table, we have the main area that has the photos in the current film roll. And if you hover over an image, you can see its star rating and any color that it might have had added to it. You can add colors to images to separate them from each other. Um, it's just a uh, useful way of uh, tagging images um, so that you can sort them later on. You can notice as well that under image information in the left pane, you've got the EXIF data of an image and that changes as well if I hover over an image. Now, I can change the star rating either by clicking on a star on an image or by going to uh, pressing on the keyboard one through five you can change the color association by pressing f1 to f5 so see you can add as many colors as you want to an image and you can uh, display the image on full screen by pressing the w button Control W would show you the image with the focus points. Now, as we know, we can press the T button to go to darkroom and develop a single image. Now, we're going to apply a couple of uh, modifications or modules to this image in order to test another shortcut in light table. So I'm going to go ahead and add some local contrast and maybe a haze removal. It's really not important now. Press L to go back to light table. And now suppose I want to apply these same modifications to another image. All I would do is select that image, press Ctrl C, and then select the other image and press Ctrl V. And the modifications that I apply to the first image will be automatically applied to the second image. You can as well select as many images as you want and press Ctrl V to apply the same modifications to all of them at the same time. This star-shaped button here is called the overlay button and it allows us to control what is displayed on the frames surrounding the photos. The default is overlays on mouse hover, which is what we saw until now. We can choose no overlays which would disable all information. We can have extended overlays, which would have the file, na uh, file name and the image settings. And you can have the same settings, but then as permanent. So you don't even have to hover over each photo to see it. If I have permanent overlays extended, You can have all the information displayed continuously. And then you can have just the basic overlays uh, continuous and the extended one on mouse hover. And the other one, the last one, will just block the information for about three seconds, even when you leave the, the image can change the size of the icon, um, thumbnails by pressing the control button on the keyboard and using the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. This will certainly change the number of images per row if you actually make them big enough or if you have enough images. You can uh, scroll using the arrow keys on your keyboard or using your mouse wheel you can select multiple images by pressing shift or control zoomable light table 
which we could choose here as the same um, settings or functionalities as file manager that we were in except that uh, you don't have to press control to zoom in or out just using the mouse wheel would do that for you and if you press your uh, left button on the mouse and move you can move through the photos if, if you have more photos the third view is called column which is a very useful view to actually compare and photos and select which ones you prefer to do that you can choose the number of photos to display at the same time here we have two and as you can tell this would be helpful if you had made several photos of the same subject and you wanted to choose between them you can change the number of photos that are displayed at the same time and the same you know go, go through them and add uh, star ratings or color uh, coding to them another useful feature in the coloring screen is the ability to zoom in so if you press control and use the mouse wheel to zoom in as you see it will zoom in on all of the photos and you can as well click on a photo and pan and it will pan all the photos simultaneously this is very useful to check the details of an image and help you decide which one you like the best as we've already mentioned in the file manager view you can if you hover over a uh, an image you can press w to see a full preview of that image or control w like i just said to uh, show the areas that are in sharp focus now if you if you only use w or control w the image goes back to normal size as soon as you release the keyboard if you wanted the image to stay on the screen in full preview mode you can use the alt key as well so alt control w and the image would remain in focus even after you release the buttons this will can help you to zoom in and pan if you wanted to inspect the image more in detail this is it for this time next time we'll go into more light table concepts as usual this is based on the user manual that can be found on dark tables website you'll find the link in the description below bye bye